we spoke last Thursday, I had a, it was right before that big dump, right? So we consolidated in, we were consolidating in this range. Okay. And I said, I expected based on the options market, I expected a fake out move higher, something like this. I expected this. Okay. And then a dump, but I said there was the possibility that we would just dump. And that is exactly what happened. We just straight dumped. But I said, once we broke out of this range, we, it would be fast. It would be a big move because this kind of consolidation only happens before a massive move. And you can see on this breakdown, look at how fast we move. Just boom, right here. Consolidated, pumped a little bit, took out all the stops here and dropped again. Now, today we're going to talk about where we're going to go next and then why all of this is kind of happening. Less on the why and more just on the chart uh, because to a degree, I, I think everyone knows why this is happening primarily because interest rates are being uh, raised and the interest rates are being raised because we're in a like, very high inflation environment. Fed has to fight the inflation. They're willing to kill the economy to do that. And that's exactly what we're seeing here if, if the stock market is a measure of the economy. So this breakdown was your trigger to jump into a short. Okay, if, that, if that's in your trading plan, you can see here, right? Here's RSI, and if I go like that, that's basically your line. Here's your breakdown on a daily, on a four hour chart, right? Here is your trigger short. And you see how we consolidated. You could have set a short setup here onto the lower time frames. Okay, you can see the consolidation happening. So it is still in the red, but it's consolidating up. Right, that's normally what happens. You could have set a short at the highs, set your stop a little bit below, above it, and then wrote it down for amazing profits. But you can see this this move was this was an intense move. But was it enough to bring in like a short term? Is a, is are we approaching a bottom? Possibly. However, I don't think go to the weekly chart. I don't think we get a bottom until the VIX spikes something like at least over fifty. Like you could see. 2018, right? We had the crash. 2015, 2011. Here's 2008. So here's 2008 and 2020 were the big ones. VIX spiked to 80 on both occasions. There's, there's, I mean, there's a little bit of a spike, but this isn't a big spike. I think to know that we're close to the bottom and there's been capitulation, we need to see something like that. I need to see a VIX spike like that. So there's, for anybody asking, is there more pain ahead? What's coming next? I think the answer is 100% there is more pain coming. So don't, don't think that this is over. It's not. You need a VIX. But this means that there's not been enough capitulation. Too many people are still long. There have not been enough crypto funds that have blown up. I'm sure people have heard about 3AC. Okay, If, that, if those rumors are true, then you know, if, I, if I recall, they were one of the best trading firms out there with the highest PNL on FTX or something. I, I think partially their massive destruction was caused by the Terra Luna thing. I think they were highly invested in that ecosystem and they got hurt very badly. Uh, and then the other thing is that I do think they had a lot of inf inside information that, that caused them to, to get kind of destroyed in a way. By the way, I think the S&P is doing a little bit of a rally here. Look at this reversal happening. Uh, I don't know. Is that a letter of the alphabet that we kind of like around here? I don't know. You see this W coming in in like 15 minutes? Yeah. And here's the downtrend, right? It's right at the top. It's trying to push through. I would say probably draw a downtrend line off of that rally peak that you saw yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably the trade. Okay, so my question is, why would you, you wouldn't, you, why would you not use this trend line though? Why not this one? You can use it, but that's a target. <laughs> so the trade, it wasn't big. This is not a big trade. And I might argue that you, the pros are going to fade this trend line. And look at your RSI. You can see your RSI is at just a wicked battle point here. This is not yeah. W down. I don't think this has resolved this level here yet. And you might find no. that this thing just ends out and crashes. Well, I'm out. saying I think this is the short spot. Look, it's rejected. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I think it is. If if this if this inside bar confirmed, it would actually because look at your stochastic RSI down at the bottom. Yeah, look at that beautiful over. M, right? That that when it M down there, that's where you got to hit that thing. Right here, because it yeah. it M'd out and then it did a head fake. Right. 
Yeah, well, I think this was a little uh, like bolt bear flag. Yeah. And if it can break the bear flag, then we just go. Doop. Yeah, yeah. So I'd be careful here. I don't know whether it'd be getting too bullish here is such a good idea. I'm not bullish. I'm bearish. Oh, okay. I'm saying I was saying this is a nice short right here when it was at three, six, eight, five. Yeah. OK. Because then you can say your stop just right above these highs right here. Yeah. Just go three, six, nine. And then you've only got a five point move where you can get stopped out. And then but you could have this huge drop. Yeah. Well, maybe let your RSI, whatever. If a W comes in, awesome. We're a bull. If the M comes in, uh, better be careful. Yeah. It's at a tight spot. Look at this. Look at, look yeah. at, look at it fighting. Oh, God. That's right on That's... your blue VIP line, Nay. Eh? So, I mean, this is, yeah. a, this is a war zone right here, right now. Exactly. I'm just saying, like, you could take, if based on the higher time frames, right, they're all bearish, pretty mm. bearish. They're all in the bearish zone. If you wanted to take a trade, like you wanted to get in, it's not terrible to do this, uh, all right? And we might get stopped out, but oops. Wrong it's way. relatively low risk. 36, here's your stop, 36.90. And here's your target all the way down here, right? And it's a 13 to one risk reward. I took it, I am in it. At okay. three six, basically three six eight four. Okay, there you go. Merry Stop Christmas. it. Three six nine. I did it while we're talking. Yeah, dude, that's nice trade. Massages for the next year. That was yeah, look perfect. At, look at that. Yeah, very nice. Huh? Just make damn oh. sure to pay yourself a little bit, right? So worst case scenario, just don't lose any money. Maybe move stop to scratch or in the money a couple. It, all my stops are already in scratch. They're already at scratch. Yeah. All right, so you can't lose so any that, money. If anything, uh, you're feeling pretty good and you'll end the day on a high note. Totally awesome.